Let me tell you guys something. My dance class is my favorite part of the day. I go there after a long tiring day and I can still dance and jump around. But my absolute favorite reason for going there is that I get to see myself in a huge mirror. It's basically a big plain mirror and I can see every move I make and every mistake too. Mirrors, lenses, telescopes, cameras, projectors, all these devices make images of the objects in front of them. But the images have different characteristics and are therefore given different adjectives. A mirror reflects almost all the light that hits it. In the case of a plain mirror, the light will be reflected back depending on the angle that the incident ray strikes the mirror. If you were to stand at the correct angle to observe the reflected ray coming from the object, you would observe a few things about the reflection. If the image can be taken on a screen and the size of the image can be measured, it is called a real image. If the image cannot be taken on the screen, it is called a virtual image. The image we see in the plane mirror is virtual. It appears to be formed somewhere behind the mirror. I know for a fact that the mirror is solid and there is a wall behind it. Hence, this is just a result of the reflection of light. If the image formed by an optical device is smaller than the object, it is called a diminished image. If the image is larger than the object, it is called a magnified image. If the image is of the same size, it is said to be of true size. The reflection in the plane mirror appears to be of the same size as the object. Moving closer to the mirror will make the reflected image appear larger just like looking at the real object would. And just like looking at the real object, the image is the right way up. So it is called erect or an upright image. Unlike this, if you look at yourself in a teaspoon, you will see your image upside down which is called an inverted image. But there's one thing about plain mirrors that throws me off a lot. If I lift my left arm, the reflection I see in the mirror appears to be lifting the right arm. This is because images formed by a plain mirror are laterally inverted, so they are flipped sideways. <sighs> That's a lot of information about mirrors now. Maybe it's time for me to stop focusing on my reflection and practice some more dancing. I gotta go now. See you next time.